Hi, this is Dr. Montana, and I welcome you to today's video, which is particularly on types of radiations that are radiated when an unstable nucleus decays. In the previous video, we looked at uh, the ratios of a stable and unstable nucleus. We also looked at the nature of radiations. And now, today in this video, we're going to look at types of radiations. When an unstable nucleus decays, what kind of radiations are radiated? So now, the three kinds of radiations that are radiated include the alpha particle, then we have a beta particle, and then we have gamma radiations. So the symbols that are we use to denote these three types of radiations are the ones that I in indicated at the end of each radiation. So alpha, we have this one here. Then beta, we have that one. Then for gamma rays, we have this symbol. So now let's look at each and every one of them and how they behave when they're exposed to magnetic fields as well as a uh, electric fields then we also look at uh, their characteristics okay let's jump into things okay so now the characteristics of these radiations as follows so for for an alpha particle what does it consist when an alpha particle is released from the nucleus there are two protons and two neutrons that are actually released okay. so now when those two are released what we have is actually a helium particle which is released now this helium particle is actually denoted by this notation which is at the bottom here we have the mass number of a four and the proton number of a two what is its mass? It has a large mass and its relative charge is actually positive too. It moves at the speed of half of the speed of light and its ionizing effect is very strong. You may not know what ionization is or is all about. So ionization has to do with uh, the knocking out of electrons from any substance. So now, when these radiations come in contact, for example, with uh, air molecules, what normally happens is uh, the electrons that are actually knocked out of air molecules. So now, when when electrons are knocked out, they, there's always an imbalance between the positive and negative charges. So the the elect the molecules of air happen to have more positive charge than negative charge so they tend to be positively charged so when that happens we say they have been ionized and what is formed is actually an ion so a charged uh, atom is actually called an ion now what can be stopped or what can stop these radiations of uh, alpha radiations so this can be stopped by almost anything, which may include paper, a piece of cloth, and human skin. So their penetrative power isn't all that powerful. Let's move on to the second particle, which is actually beta particle. So now when, when a beta particle is released, what's really released is actually one electron per particle. So the the notation for that one electron is this one here so we have negative one uh, because that's the charge carried by an electron now the mass of this particle is very small and it has a relative charge of negative one now let's look at the ionizing effect of beta particles so it has a very weak ionizing effect 
What can stop this? A thin metal such as aluminium. Gamma rays are normally electromagnetic waves. They have no notation, they have no mass, and they have no relative charge. They move at the speed of light, and they have very weak ionizing effect. There is nothing that can stop them except for a very thick lead which actually slows them down. What is the behavior of these radiations under the influence of an electric field? So now, the diagram below actually shows how these are deflected within an, an, an electric field. So now, since alpha particles are positively charged, they are weakly deflected towards the negative terminal. And then, beta particles which are negatively charged are actually strongly deflected towards the positive terminal. Now, since gamma radiations have no charge of, what, of whatever form, they just proceed straight within an electric field. Let's check out the behavior of these radiations when they're exposed to a magnetic field. Under a magnetic field, alpha particles are actually deflected. They are weakly deflected towards the south pole. And then beta particles are strongly deflected towards the north pole. Gamma rays proceed straight. Okay, let's move on and check out the penetrative power of these radiations. This one actually shows clearly the penetrative power of these radiations. So those that are actually blocked by this paper are alpha radiations. Then beta rays are actually stopped by a thin aluminium metal. And then gamma rays are actually stopped by lead. And then a neutron ray is stopped by water or concrete. Wow. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. Look forward to many more vids. But I urge you to go ahead and subscribe if, if you haven't subscribed to my channel. And make sure you turn on the notification bell so that anytime I happen to post a video, you happen to be alerted. Thank you so much.